Come on in here, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh my God, it's so beautiful and cold. But not too bad, though. Not too bad. As I'm walking, I'm going to be talking to you guys. As I am walking, I'm going to be talking to you guys. We want to talk about uh, hobo sexual relationship. Have you guys ever heard the term? Have you guys ever heard the term hobo sexual relationships? Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. You may be having this relationship and you don't even know. <laughs> you probably calling it a player or these people have specific reasons why they hanging out with you. Okay, we're going to talk about it. This is Rosa from Rosa's Resources, guys. Okay, what about coming here to talk to you guys about? I lived it. <laughs> I am in New York right now, and I want to talk to you guys really briefly. You know when you're upstairs in your house, uh, the winds fool you. You think it's so, so, so cold, but it's not. It's just perfect. I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys briefly. And please feel free to interact. Let me know your experience. Okay, ladies, can we talk? Have you guys ever been with a man or experienced a man or woman? <laughs> Okay, it doesn't matter. Man, woman, even children. Okay, we're gonna talk about it. And uh, they just come around you, pretentious at first. It's all a pretend, okay? Because there's a need, they, these people have needs. You know, and you are the victim. They see that you got a kind heart. They see that you're lonely, vulnerable. If I'm gonna talk to you guys, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Lonely, vulnerable. Sometimes people are desperate, desperately lonely. That's not a good space to be, okay? Not a good space to be at all. So what these people do is they come around, be your best friend, mirror you, and they listen, they, they really examine and listen to your needs. And then they give you everything, everything that you want. But the one thing, um, I'm not gonna say all of the homo homosexuals, but most of them, they have nothing to give you but sex. Now we're talking about an intimate relationship. So they come into your life um, I don't know what you, you meet them. You can meet them anywhere in society, but they examine you. Next thing you know, you're going out with them, but you're paying all the bills. You are paying all the bills. <laughs> they might take out a dollar every now and then, but you are paying all the bills, okay? They don't have it. Some of them, like I said, majority of them don't work. I guess they got the hustle mentality. They like to hustle people, okay? Uh, so it might look like this. It, lo it might look like you invite them into your home. Um, you have to ask them to leave because when night come, them no one got them yard. <laughs> they just in your house. You can't get them out. It's like you ever they, they come to your house and make you feel uncomfortable. It's like 11, 12, this is not supposed to happen. It's like 11, 12 o'clock at night. You're waiting for them to leave, but for some reason they just harboring, they just there, they're not leaving. So now you gotta say, you know, are you leaving? And then they sometimes give you like a sob story or whatever. You know, maybe you end up having them sleep on your couch, which is very, 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 very dangerous. Or if they got that charm and fling that charm on. You might let them come in your bedroom. 
Then they leave the next day, come back calling you, calling you, calling you, calling off your phone. And you think in your head that, oh, this person is interested, but they just love bombing you. They just love bombing you and being so excessive with it. That is not normal. It's not normal, guys, <laughs> for somebody to excessively call you. They don't give you a breather. That is because they're trying to entrap you in a relationship, okay? They're trying to trap you up. They're trying to act like, I mean, these people, like, they could get an Oscar-winning award because they're coming around like they being so excessive, like they like you. It's like them not work. Them not nothing to do. They're just ringing down your phone. <laughs> texting you every minute it's too much it's too much that's too excessive next thing you know they're in your house for a week in your house for a month what happens when they're in your house for a month now you're gonna have a hard time getting them out especially if they leave a little piece of clothes there because i don't know what state you are but in new york after 30 days it's hard to get these people out now you got to do the eviction process okay then they get mail there, like they live there. These people, they come to your house. Uh, they don't buy groceries, <laughs> but they eat the most, you know? And your empathic self, you don't say nothing. You don't say nothing until they reach to the limit. <laughs> That's why you gotta speak up and be bold. They come, they want, they, they don't want no hamburger and french fry or hot dog. They don't want that. They, they, want, a, they want a real healthy meal. They want a real healthy meal, guys. And um, they want that every night. And then when you finish cooking, they don't wash the dishes. So basically, you're, you're just like an indentured servant. Cooking, cleaning, everything. And this person, you're pouring into this person, and this poor person is not pouring back into you. You know what they got to give you? All they got to give you is sex. That's all they have to give you. And some people just, like, get caught up in the sex because of lust. You know, and they get tricked. They get tricked. The thing about it, ladies, and I'm talking to the ladies, but it happened to men as well. I mean, you go into your 95 or your entrepreneur self, you hustling, you're doing, you was doing so good. You was on the right path, everything. And as soon as this person come around you, you just going down, 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 down to the ground. Everything around you is going down. Your finance is suffering. And let's not talk about if you have kids, this person come in your house, say your kid have an Xbox or whatever that game is <laughs> that kid got. They want to take over the kid's room. They want to take over like it's their house. Then they start, uh, then they start um, you know, like telling you they don't like your friends. So now you start being isolated, you know? Nobody wants to come around you because this person is just dominating your life, you know? And a lot of um, a lot of these people walk around with a um, what do you call it? Like I don't want to say a book bag, but like a, a backpack on their back <laughs> because they jump from house to house, wherever they're comfortable for a little time. Because after they're not comfortable, they're gonna leave and go to the next victim. That's what they do. That's their career. That's what they do. That's their living. Okay, homosexual. They don't care. They just they don't have no goals. Some of them really fall down on, on a hard time, but most of them, they don't have no goals. They just like to live on, and I'm talking, I'm talking to the woman right now. They just like to live on women, you know, and some of us are so gullible that you do so good on your own. What's the sense of having a man around if he's not adding to your life or she's not adding to your life? They just come to take, 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 take. Um, just know that... Uh, Homosexual doesn't have to always be an intimate partner. It could be like a child as well, a friend, a friend that comes to your place, don't want to uh, don't want to leave, but want to come in your house and make it chaotic. Um, always want to go to clubbing, don't have no money to add to anything. They just want to go clubbing, 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 clubbing every minute. And then you are the one that have to um, you are the one that have to spend your money when they go clubbing because it seems like you must be so lonely or something. You got these people using you. You know what I mean? So just I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Be careful out here. You know? And then, you know, even if you let somebody stay on your couch, right? They come, 
They eat, like I said, they don't wash dishes. They throw the things in the sink. They put the toilet seat up. They got junk in the toilet. They don't even know how to, to use the brush and clean it out. They don't clean up behind themselves. They just appear stressed, them I give you. Since they come in your house, it's peer stress. The kids are stressed, you are stressed. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it's an intimate partner or a friend or our children. You know, these people just, they don't care about anything that's making other people's lives a living hell. They don't have any goals. They don't even want to go to school. They don't have jobs. They don't, they don't know the next week plan. They do not contribute to groceries. They do not. They do not. They do not. They don't even mind sleeping on a park bench. Okay, and then if you have a car, they come. They love people with nice things. They come, they drive your car around, and they act like it's uh, your car. And even if you're helping this, these people out and you even give them your car to drive, they're driving up with other women or men in your car, acting like it's theirs. They, they, they basically are stealing your identity. That's what it is. I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but yeah. It's real. It's real out here. People just out for what they could get. Very selfish behavior. Selfish. And then some of them um, want to wear your clothes. They want to take everything. It's like they switch an identity. They, they daydreaming. They daydreaming that your life is their life. And then um, when everything is going good, you have this person around you, you're trying to help them because you, you're trying to be a good friend or a good parent or whatever it is. Uh, intimate partner because you think this person really like you and they don't. They can't stand you. They cannot stand your gut. Um, they, they, they just never leave, never contribute to anything. If you're traveling, some people, if they're traveling or you want to get a ticket for them, everything, you're just letting those people come around and use you, use it because you're lonely. Just be by yourself because these people definitely don't know how to be by themselves. That's why they always need somebody right there supporting them. And then when you support them, they turn their back on you, they stab you in your back, they betray you, they talk behind your back. They tell people what's going on in your house. And that's another thing, they come in your house, um, you thinking you're helping them out, but them not help you out. Guess what they doing? They watching every move you're making in your house. Every move. They watching your, you know, every move. They watching how you stock your your money, what time you go to work, what time you come home. They watching you. They are watching everything about you, so they could hurt you, plan up for you. And then when you're not home, some people leave people in their house. When you're not home, they're probably all bringing another person in your house. And if it's your so-called friend, when you're not home, they got people in your house having a party. God forbid if you tell them uh, you're traveling and you want them to house it, and you want them to house it, they're having a whole party in your house. People thinking it's their house. Next, to, You know, that's like how people get into dangerous situations. You know what I mean? That's how people get into some dangerous situations out here because they think... Uh, this friend is your friend, but your friend is your enemy. Your homos, homosexual friend is your enemy. So it's so bad on the point these days that you can't even, like, really help people out because they stab you in your back. You know what I mean? The ones that you try to help are the ones that stab you in your back. That's why you got to test the spirit. You know what I mean? Test the spirit by the spirit. And never, your intuition never steer you wrong. It's going to start talking to you in the first place. All right? Because your heart's weak. Okay? If you guys ever experience this, let me know. I'm coming here also. I'm, um, um, treat your house so disrespectfully. Like I said, you go away. These people got party in your house. They never replace no groceries. They never replace anything. They use up your toothpaste, your soap, everything. They don't even... Uh, they don't even um, refill nothing. They don't have anything to give. And I'm going to talk about the ones that is working now. Like I said, it could be a parent, uh, uh, grandmother, grandkids. It could be intimate partner, friends, anything. Now, so if they're working and they just want to couch it because these people do not um, like responsibility. So even though they do have a nine to five, uh, even though some people even have their own business, believe it or not. 
they just like to take, take. They, these people are takers. They are takers. They are users. They do not add anything to your pot. They only take. By the time they drain you, you are done for. You're drained and they happy. You know, um, so if they have a job, they may um, have a car. They're never going to let you drive it. They're never going to let you drive their car. Um, never, ever, ever. So they're living in your house. You probably sometimes even give them a room. You know what I mean? You ask them for a particular um, um, rent every minute. Even if they give it to you, it's like late. The, the rent is late. Uh, the portion they're giving you is not the correct portion you asked for. Um, it's, just, it's just a horrible, horrible, horrible. First of all, you was in your house so peaceful um, by yourself. But, you know, you're trying to help this person out. You think this person is genuine, but, you know, them say, um, see me and live with me <laughs> is two different things. So you see a person um, and you don't know them until they come and live with you. Then you really know the real person. You really know how they're going to treat you so disrespectful, okay? So these people got jobs. They go to work every day, and they're the ones that look the, the nicest. Them have them clothes. Them look good. They flossing. They basically flossing um, on the on the street, on the outside. You know, on the outside of their real life, they're flossing. But in real life, they don't have anything. They don't have a thing. They don't have a darn thing to share. They don't have nothing because all these people do is buy clothes. They don't even have savings. They just flossing. They want to impress people. But in the middle of impressing people, they are sleeping on your couch. You understand me? Real life. Um, hobo sexual. That's the term that they coined it. Hobo sexual. Users. They will use, 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 use people. Use. I can't really see too good. Yeah, but do they pay rent? Do they pay rent? I can barely see. Seems like you have a, a what, a, like a three-bedroom for rent? Don't do it. Don't do it. I have um, an empty room right now, but if you, if, you don't, if you don't like your piece, you could do it. But I'm telling you, when, when people come into your house to live with you, they... Um, they turn your house upside down. Let them go get them on place. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to be sorry. I'm telling you, you're going to be sorry. You are going to be sorry. <laughs> you are going to be sorry. Okay? Right now, I have an empty room up there. I wish I could rent it out. But if I wasn't there in the whole entire apartment, yes, I would do it. But no way. I like my peace. Okay, these people, first of all, if you rent them the, 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 the bedroom, right, they're not going to come and give you your rent on time. They're not. They're not going to come and give you your, your rent in, on time at all. Okay? And um, they're going to come uh, cause chaos. They want to bring, that's another thing. They want to bring people in your house, keep you up all times, at night, everything. You know what I mean? So... I guess if you test the spirit by the spirit and you know this is a good person and you're trying to help them out, if you know the history, remember, guys, one thing we need to do is watch the pattern, people's pattern, tell you about them. Okay, message from God, listen to me. Um, test, test their spirit. And if God sent you over here, praise God. That's the first thing you want to do is go to him. Go to God on your knees Ask him. He's going he's gonna to give you the answers, lady. He is going to give you the answers, okay? Go to God. I just was like, I got the download to do this uh, video about the um, hobo sexual. Because, like, people are being used in society. Why do you think there's so much men out, out there sleeping? They, it's just it's so um, overwhelming when you see so much men on the streets sleeping everywhere. More men than women. And that's not a dispute because I'm out here with these homeless people. I'm out here with them. All right, more men, more than women. They will sleep on anybody's couch. They will come to your house, sleep. They will act, act nice, smile up for 
a couple weeks and then you're gonna see the true self come out you gotta give it time but you gotta watch people pattern don't watch what they say watch their pattern stand still and listen sometimes and they're gonna tell them true self they're gonna tell them true self I'm telling you just watch them sometime because it's, it's gonna be a confusing message if they saying one thing and they doing another that's why you gotta oh no you got music in my video great anywho um just watch the pattern watch people's action watch the pattern patterns do not lie okay and also test the spirit by the spirit period and the story test the spirit by the by the spirit but yeah ho hobo sexual sometimes you know you try to help people because you feel sorry for them you see the potential in them that's why you just gotta let people be whoever that person is showing you that they are don't have the imagination what you got in your head what they could be their potential no that person is showing you who they are that is who they are it's so loud and it's uh, it's so so loud so visually loud as well but we choose to ignore it because we want to put this person on a higher level than they really are. Sometimes the expectation we put on people, it's just so much. They don't even have that expectation of themselves, but you do because that's how you want to see the person. Just accept them for who they are. And when they show you who they are, just believe them. Um, it goes for kids. If you have kids in your house, guys, um, and they are, they are an adult now, um, early adults, I'm not going to say fine, but, you know, they're struggling. They're trying to make it, everything. You're trying to work with them. But at it's, it's, it's some point, you got to cut the card. You got to cut the card. You are not responsible for adults and their action. You are only responsible for yourself. I, only God can change people. You cannot. So stop trying to change people and let God do his work. Sometimes people got to go to the valley of the shadow of death. Everybody have their own walk. They have to walk. That's their path. That's their path. Sometimes we try to bring people on, on the path, but sometimes they're not supposed to be on this destiny with you. They're not a part of your destiny. Everybody got different, different paths. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have different paths. So you really just, you really, really, really just have to let people be who they are. Okay? Oh wow, sorry to hear, the, hear about that. Yep, no stress, honey, no stress. I wanna go down, I can't even see. Oh God, it's really bad. I don't have my glasses on. I'm sorry to hear about your husband, did he just pass? Oh, your husband just passed away. I'm sorry to hear about that, my love. It's a hard journey, but you know what? Um, this is going to sound crazy, but your husband passed away. I'm sorry to hear about that. My husband is still on earth, but I'm moaning him. I'm moaning him. I'm just letting go off of that now. So, you know, your husband died go through the moaning process go through the grief process go through it and don't let nobody tell you about your healing process my husband is still on earth and i am moaning him because it was no closure but i'm getting through it i'm good you know i'm in the acceptance part of my journey right now okay and then another thing all these men got to offer is i'm not even dating it's been about a year now and um the guys that I meet, all they talk about is sex. It's just so um, superficial. It's so dumb to me. And it's just like, that's all you got to offer? <laughs> you a grown man and that's all you got to offer? Sex? It's just so whack. And that's another thing. They come in your house and especially like the whole, whole hobosexual guys, that's all they have to offer is their physical body. They can't pray for you. They can't support you. They cannot be loyal to you. They're going to come in your house and cause a lot of confusion. They probably even have, like, trying to sleep with you, your friend, tree, some all kind of craziness going on. You understand me? Drinking, alcohol, smoking, all kind of confusion, you, especially if you got kids in the house. It's just a bad space to be, guys. All right? So... Um, I'm going to go now because I don't want this video to be too long, but it's like really, really, really 
rough out here. I'm going to encourage my ladies. Um, I'm definitely not one of those ladies that say um, I don't need a man. I wouldn't. It would be nice to have a man, but if it's going to be the only thing that they have to offer is sex and stress, then no, thank you. I want to live stress free. We know we're going to have stress in life. Look what's going on with Corona, but with God, honey. The stress is a little easier. So why are you going to have a man or a woman come and appear stress, peer fighting, peer argument, peer confusion? God, do not work in confusion. Okay? My love, take one day at a time and heal yourself. All right? It's okay. So a lot of people are in relationships and they stressed out. Relationships are good, but if it's coming from uh, good soil, basically. If it's coming from good soil, beautiful. But if not... People that I'm just stressed, they sleeping with your friends, your mother, your father, they sleeping with everybody, stressing you out. Don't want to help you pay bills, don't want to do nothing. You know, so be stress-free, develop yourself, uh, get that course, get that education that you want, uh, travel, go to that place that you want to go to, purchase that car that you want to purchase, get that relationship with God. That's another thing, guys. When these homosexual people, narcissistic people come into your life, you start uh, staring away from God um, and you know you need God in the center of your life if you want your life to work right okay because when he's not in the center everything go chaotic all right this walk with me is just a year old and I'm telling you this is the best life this is the richest life I ever lived in my whole entire life I just want to praise God and thank God and anybody going through it if if you have somebody in your house right now, I don't care if it's a kid, a lover, a friend, and if they are not um, um, coming up to your level, just get rid of them. You have to. Don't let people use you. 2022. Remember, 2022 is coming up, guys. You do not, and I repeat, you do not want to carry over into another year, sitting down on the sideline in your own house, in your own life, and letting people just treat you any way they want to treat you. Stand up, get up, and speak up, all right? If you're in your house and you're paying all the bills yourself and you're still being stressed out because these people, all they want to do is come and take, 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 take. You could save so much more money. You could just uh, build up so much more by yourself. Why not do it? It's okay to be lonely. You're never lonely because God is with you. Take that trip you want to take. I enjoy my own best company. You know what I'm saying? You go places, you meet people, and then you go home in peace. You can't buy peace, honey. If they could put it in a bottle. A lot of people are out here. They got money. They got so much material things, but they don't have love, and they don't have peace, and they don't have joy, and that's the best, okay? That's the best thing you could have for yourself. That's the best thing you could do for yourself, all right? So, guys, I pray for you guys. I pray that that situation work out, okay? Get that person off your couch. Get that person out your house. Put in that 30-day notice. Put in that uh, eviction notice. Get that person out of your life, out of your heart, okay? I got to go. Walk to Indian. Why you walk with the head down, sir? No, no, no. I'm trying to avoid all these fucking dog shits out here, man. The other day, I had to go over there. Oh, really? I walk over there from the building over there. All of a sudden, I fucking look down. If you see the fucking dump. Yeah. I go right by the garbage and I throw it over. I keep my house in the sacks. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right to the parks department. That's my neighbor. Anyway, <laughs> all right, guys. Take care of your kids. Take care of yourself. Take care of your own health, all right? And my love, get down on your knees and pray to God. Sorry to hear about your husband. I love you guys. Thank you for listening.